Hi, Lou Manfredini, ACES Home Expert, and today's project, creating a galaxy ceiling. It's a great way to change the look of a room and bring some newfound fun to it. Now, as with any paint job, it all starts with the prep work, so you wanna make sure you clear out that room and get those walls ready for the paint job. Now, when it comes to this project, one of the tricks of the trade is to actually bring the ceiling color down onto the wall. So laying that out properly is part of the process. Let me show you how to get started. Now painting the ceiling means you're gonna get paint on the floor, so make sure you cover the entire area with a drop cloth. Use a broom and get in those corners if there's any cobwebs or dust that's built up. You wanna get that prepped as well as the wall coming down. Now right here, I've got some holes that were obviously there from something that was hanging there. You wanna patch that using some lightweight spackle. I'm gonna show you how to lay out that line so we can begin the painting process. To get that effect that you want for the galaxy ceiling, we wanna bring that color down, as I mentioned, onto the wall. Now it varies where you would put that line. It's typically six to eight inches or so, but you always wanna look for some cues that may be in the room already. So here's the top of the trim right over this closet door. And what you can't see behind us is there's a window and that height of that trim is the same. So I think the best approach in this particular room is to come right off of this corner mark right at the top and bring a line across. We're gonna tape that off and then bring the color down. Now the way I'm gonna achieve that is using a laser level. They have these little vials on here that help you get it nice and level. And then you can take it over to one end over here and you turn it on. Remember, you never wanna look down into this laser, but you set it and so we're gonna draw that line all the way across and you may need a little help with this so that you get it set, you know exactly where you are on that corner, and then take some pencil marks across this red line, and then we're gonna put the tape there so we can apply the paint onto the wall. Our taping is done, it's now time to apply our paint and primer in one. We're using Clark and Kensington in a flat finish, and the color is Midnight Oil. Now the flat finish is by design. You see, a flat finish is more forgiving. You don't see any irregularities as often using that. You wanna go ahead and cut around that tape joint first in the corners, all that gets done with a brush. Then we follow up with a roller to cover the larger areas of the ceiling. First coat is complete. Good coverage here. But when you're going with a darker color over a lighter color, two coats is almost a guarantee. And you can kind of see how you've got a little bleed through of that lighter color. That's okay, let it dry. Probably at least a couple of hours before you put that second coat on. If you wanna speed things up a little bit, get a big box fan and just start circulating the air in the room and that will help to speed up the drying time so we can come back, do the second coat, then when the second coat is done, we're gonna peel the tape off and start with our effects to create our galaxy ceiling. Two coats on the ceiling and it's looking good. It's time now to apply our galaxy effect. Now you have a lot of choices. You can flick paint up there with a paintbrush. That's why we have the plastic taped up on the walls behind me. You can use glow-in-the-dark paint. There are stickers you can apply. There are even glow-in-the-dark stars that you can put up there, even paint pens, so that your creativity can literally be out of this world. And there you have it. Come on, that is a fun way to bring some creativity to a room. You can even do this on an accent wall. You just need a little time and a little patience, and you can get the same results. Now, if you need more help, always feel free to visit your local Ace Hardware store. And you can visit our website at acehardware.com. And please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel because Ace is the helpful place.